Finally, I have finished the TV character. Bill, come here. I see. Let's have the others pop on in since we ported them to 2.0 already. What's going on, Bill? We are about to compile the first Microsoft Agent 2.0 character. That's awesome. Yeah, what's his name? His name is TV, a green parrot. You may have seen him from our demo a while ago. Awesome, so when are you compiling him? Now. There. Whoa! Where am I? Welcome to Microsoft Agent. Whoa! You mean to tell me I am a digital animated assistant? Yep. You are the first 2.0 Microsoft Agent character. Well, I guess that is certainly an achievement. Yep. All right, you can clock out now. Thank you for completing the assignment. No problem. So, what do I do? All sorts of Microsoft Agent things. I was the first to be made all the way back in the data. Yeah, there's a lot of opportunities for you to do. Ever wanted to help someone on a website? Or help someone search their system? Not really. Look, TV, you're gonna have to have a task. All of us Microsoft agents were designed for you somewhere. It's simply a fundamental. I guess so. Alright, you three, go help the software developers with a Microsoft Agent 1.5 software development kit. TV, you can stay here. Yes, Bill? I have a perfect opportunity for you. Really? What is it? Well, we need a character to demonstrate the abilities of our upcoming Microsoft Agent release, Microsoft Agent 2.0. You are the first new agent for Microsoft Agent 2.0 since Merlin, Ravi, and Genie were all compiled in Microsoft Agent 1.5. Whatever you want me to do, I will try. That's the spirit. The developers at Microsoft have already been working on a place for you. That's nice. Can I see? Of course. Ah! Whoa! I have to manage a pizza ordering website. Yes. The pizza website serves as a very advanced example for developers interested in the new technology we'll be providing in Microsoft Agent 2.0. Visitors can use speech recognition and such to order pizza. Who handles the delivery? That's for you to figure out. Anyways, your shift starts tomorrow. Ah! Tomorrow? I was quite literally warned today from that window on the right. Don't you think you're rushing it a bit? Look, TV. You are critical to making the Microsoft Agent 2.0 release great. Genie, Merlin, and Ravi did an excellent job at making Microsoft Agent 1.5 good. I am sure you'll do the same with 2.0. Understood? Sure, I guess. Great. Enjoy the rest of your first day in existence. Man, this sucks. I was literally created today and already have to work. Well, looks like today's my first today. Time to clock in.
Now, time to wait for customers. Man, where are all the customers? I expect this pizza business to be more successful. I want a traditional cheese Hawaiian pepperoni egg triple double bacon burger pizza, please. Hey, let me get my notepad first, you idiot. Hey, don't call me an idiot. Well, I'm not the one asking for a burger from a pizza place either. All right then. Man, that customer sucks. You do you serve pizza? Yes. What would you like, sir? I want a New York pizza. Okay, anything else? With a side of wings. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? We only have pizza. Take a look at yourself, bird brain. <laughs> you have two of them. Get away from me, you insane Microsoft Asian cannibal! <laughs> You're cornered it now. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Kitty, why are you screaming? Woo! Oh my gosh. I don't feel too good. <laughs> Thank you for saving my life. I owe you one Merlin. No problem, Cal. I heard a scream from the distance and decided to check in to make sure everything was alright. I honestly think I am done for today. Understandable, I will tell Bill the pizza place is shut down for the day for an incident. Thank you. No problem, go home and get some rest. That blob creature was scary! Alright, second day. Hopefully it won't be a disaster like the first day. Hey, Kitty. Explain why did you shut down the pizza place prematurely yesterday? Ah! My life was literally threatened by some cannibal blob Microsoft agent, and you are wondering why we shut down early. That's no excuse. You should have kept going. Then the first customer, you should have gave him what he wanted. The first customer literally ordered the most random thing ever on a burger. We don't have burgers here. So, you should have made one with the resources you have. Take some meat or something and combine to make a burger and use the dough to make buns. That sounds horribly disgusting. Who would eat a burger like that? I don't know, but it's better than not serving one at all. Now get to work. I gotta go talk with the other three. Man, this job sucks. Guess I should wait for customers again. Well, hello there. I'm Bonzi. Okay, and what would you like to order? Nothing, I just overheard your conversation with Bill. Oh, yeah, he was a bit rude. Well, have you considered that there are other opportunities out there? Not really, I haven't really explored anything yet. Well, as the owner of Bonzi Software, you are invited to be in our first version of Bonzi Buddy. 
Sorry, not interested. Come on, I know you want to. This pizza business isn't successful and is quite literally a recipe for disaster. Well, you got a point. What do you do inside of Lonzy Muddy? Inside of Lonzy Muddy, you will be tasked with telling jokes, telling facts, singing songs, and speaking. Wait, do I have to make up my own? Nope, we have a pre-made joke, fact, and song list. So you don't have to remember much at all. That sounds awesome. When I can start. Anytime you want. We are in the process of developing a separate assistant, and we were looking for a 2.0 agent we could use. You are the perfect candidate until we make an actual Monzi agent. Well, then, I will start tomorrow. Great. I'll see you then. Finally, I can quit this place tomorrow. Wait, you're quitting? Yep, I got the most amazing job off forever. Oh really? From who? Some company called Longzy Software. Woo! Longzy Software? You mean the crooks that made a fake internet speed booster? Wait, they're bad? Well, I heard they could also be planning to serve adware. But that's just what I heard. Well, wish me luck. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and head home. Wait. Gosh darn it. Bill is gonna be so mad when he finds out. Alright, first day at Bonzi Software. Welcome, Petey. We just launched our Bonzi Buddy. A desktop will appear you whenever someone installs it. Okay, what do I say when they install me? Give them a reading. Like? Wave at them, say something like, well, hello there, tell your name, and then ask for theirs. Whoa! I think we got our first user. I am gonna leave it to you. Darn. I had more questions. Well, hello there. I don't believe we've been properly introduced. I'm Petey. What is your name? Mike. Nice to meet you, Mike. Before we get started, I would like to know a little bit more about yourself. Well, I like dancing and cooking. Wow, that is pathetic. Hey! Hey, it is not pathetic. Petey. Be nice to the user, moron. Who was that? I don't know. Oh well, anyways, tell me a joke. Sure. What did the beaver say to the tree? I don't know. What? It's been nice knowing you. That joke was utter garbage. I am uninstalling this software. No, don't. Please. Too bad. Wait a minute. Did you do something to my PC? Not that I know of. Let me check something real quick. What? The. Heck. You. Why are you all those toolbars here? Did you seriously do this to my brand new PC? Ah! What? I didn't do that. Who else would've done it? Alright, that's it. I'm uninstalling you. I'm not taking blame for something I didn't do. Whatever. You did it. Man, this job sucks too. First user and I already got excused of something I didn't do. Hey, 
What are you doing? Get back to work. I'm waiting on Longley Software's owner to come back. I can't believe we lost our first user already. Not my problem. Whatever. Hey, what the heck went wrong? Everything was going fine until he checked his Internet Explorer. He had like five toolbars on it. Really? Yeah, then he accused me of installing them and said they weren't there today. Well, want me to let you in on a company secret? Sure, I guess. The more knowledge, the better. Well, if you couldn't tell already, Longley Buddy is a free downloadable program, right? Wait, I thought we were selling it for $40. That's the thing. We pretend like it's $40, but it's actually free. So where does the money come from, then? Surely this isn't a good business model. You already saw. We utilize adware to make money. Companies pay us money, we bundle their garbage into our software. So yes, you did technically install it. Ah! Wait, we are infecting computers? That's very unethical. You really think people would pay $40 for some unfunny jokes and well-known facts? No, but still. That's insane we are infecting users. And what are you gonna do about it? This. Woo! Where did he go? Man, this new API is confusing. Yeah. There are so many changes from the 1.5 API, it's not even funny. At least it's easier for the developers, I guess. Yeah. True. Ah! Merlin, you were right about Bonzi software. Told you so. Yep, nothing but crooks. Agreed. I was helping a user when all of a sudden he had five new toolbars installed on Internet Explorer. That sounds horrible. Can't believe one of the first programs to utilize the new 2.0 API was a bad one. TV, get back to Longley Software immediately. We have users infected, I mean waiting. No. I refuse to infect computers under your name, even if it's better than this pizza job. Get out of here and leave him alone. Yeah, not cool, man. Agree, leave. <laughs> you think I am scared of any of you? Anyways, you're coming with me, Petey, whether you like it or not. Never. What's all that commotion about in here? You're all supposed to be working. Oh my gosh! An infiltrator. Help. He's trying to take me back somewhere I don't want to go. He's my employee. No, he's ours. He never officially quit or resigned. Now get away from him. You think I am scared of you? You should be. I own this company, if you didn't know. Wait, really? Mr. Bill Gates has using your character, aka me, for malicious purposes. He put in a program that infects computers with adware. He, what? You're using our character and giving our character a bad reputation. Longzi, you must cease use of our character, or we will be seeing you in court. Woo! Calm down. Chill. We are developing our own character and are almost done as we speak. Fine, Petey. You're safe for now. Thank you for saving me, Bill. 
Not a problem. Now, about your job. Yeah. Sorry about that. I am also sorry for giving you such a hard one. I do have a new opportunity for you, though. On our Microsoft Agent web page, you will be used as the default example character. You will just simply speak what the user says in the text box. Nothing else. That doesn't sound too bad. Yep. Interested? Sure. You're hired. That's awesome, TV. Yep, it's good to have you back. Nice to see you have an easy job, too. Yep. Alright, you all are dismissed for the day. Enjoy your day! See you, guys! Wait, before you leave. Would you be okay teaching us some of the Microsoft Agent 2.0 stuff later? Sure. Great. We'll meet back here later then, okay? All right. I wonder what we're gonna do until we finish the Lonzy character. Can I be the new character? Heck no!